happy Vlogmas day. 16 I think. I'm just, oh I love snowy sunshine. Oh my god. At this point for me, Vlogmas might as well just be a car series. Um, I'm gonna leave that clip in just before. So it, it ended abruptly because that was me realizing that the station was shut. So, yesterday I knew it was a rail strike. Today, my train line app said that everything was fine. Yeah, that is absolutely not the case. But I had plans for this weekend for so long. And you know when you're just up and ready and dressed and that was your plan for the day and you didn't have any other plans. So I was just like, I need to make this work. So I looked at all the stations near me and I didn't even bring sunglasses out. It's just one of them days. It's just one of them days. Yeah, there's no stations near me because obviously everywhere I live out in the countryside is National Rail, which is like overground services. So I'm driving to the closest underground, which to be honest, is not too bad. Could be so much worse. It's like 35 minutes. But yeah, today, I don't know, it, everything seems to go wrong. I got in my car, there was no petrol. I got to the petrol station, there was no petrol. As in like, there was no unleaded petrol. But I asked the guy and I was like, what do I actually do? Like I am literally running on below zero. And he was like, you can pay for the, like there's like the Supreme Plus or something, which is just basically a con. <laughs> it's just like getting, instead of getting Sainsbury's vodka, it's like getting one of the bougie vodkas, you know? I got my nails done yesterday. They are sparkly red tips. And, oh my God, it's so cold in this car. <sighs> can you see my, <laughs> can you see my uh, breath? We were supposed to be going to London today and tomorrow, I say we. Today I'm obviously on my own. Cass is working all day and then he's got his work, Christmas work due tonight. Um, so I'm heading into London on my own and then tomorrow he was supposed to come and we were going to meet up with everyone again with him but I'm just I mean unless this is really smooth for me getting to the underground and I just didn't feel like it's not I don't know why even Liv rung me just now she's driving into London today and she's like the traffic is atrocious something that should have took her like X amount of hours has added another hour on top of that so I think it's a combination of the weather, trains not working, the weekend, Christmas next week, but it's fine. We're gonna have fun. I'm on my way to, I mean, depending on what the time is, potentially Aisha's house. But if I'm a bit behind the others, because obviously the situation with the transport, I might just meet them all at Winter Wonderland because that is the plan of the day. And I'm also going to Winter Wonderland next week as well. Um, I was gonna meet up with them today and miss out on Winter Wonderland because I'm going next week for Kelsey's birthday. Her birthday is actually on Christmas day. So we are going to Winter Wonderland on the Friday, which is the 23rd. And my outfit's actually really, well, it's very, very, very basic today, but I actually really like it. So if I get the chance in a sec, I'll show you my outfit. And I probably could have shown you before, because I rushed for a train that didn't exist. And there's still ice flying off my freaking car from like last week. And we made it after what feels like about eight hours. And we've all come from opposite directions. The girls are on a little, what is this? Merry-go-round at the moment. I'm here with Aisha. We've got the bumps. Let's see us. Mine's like massive. Look at <laughs> And we've actually lost the other girls at the moment. Liv and Zell. But you know what, we're just going to let these kids so go on this. It's to find each other, isn't it? Yeah, and especially when there's little ones around. They're getting frustrated because they can't understand we're looking for other people. So we've let them go on and to be honest. I want to go and get churros if looking at that. I fancy donuts. And then we have got dinner. So I don't know if I'll ruin my... But I feel like it's a waste to come here and not eat it's something. True. Very, very true. Here's the others. Zell, baby P. Pippi! Say hi! Hello, gorgeous girl. Say, I just woke up from a nap. And she's dressed as a little bear today. She loves cameras. Oh, she hi. Give me that. Hi! You want to see yourself? Go on then. Oh, 
de Paris dans le pro. Ah, Today has been awful for vlogging. I'm literally holding my phone like walking down a road. I hope I don't step over. What an awful vlogmas day. And today was like the busiest day I've had this week, but I think that was the issue. It was like between us all. I was obviously the only one without kids there. And mix that with cold, the crazy busyness of went to Wonderland trying to get taxis we actually ended up on the bus at one point uh, because we couldn't find a taxi i'm nearly at my car and then i'm heading oh my god it's so cold i'm heading home you know when you're just like how am i still going my back oh my god my back is in agony and obviously being with aisha today she's four weeks ahead of me so I'm just like, I can't even moan because she must be feeling so much worse than me. And God knows if I'm gonna merge this, to, well, I'm gonna have to merge this with tomorrow. So we went for some food as well. And it was really nice to see everyone before Christmas. And originally, I think I said this morning, we were gonna go into London tomorrow, but absolutely not, I can't. Oh my God, yay, my car's not got a ticket. I didn't know if where I parked, I was gonna get a ticket. Anyway. I will speak to you guys either when I'm home or tomorrow. Hello, back in the car. <laughs> Are we shocked? Let's call this Karmas. It's not Vlogmas, it's Karmas, because she's always in the car. Oh, it's just the time where I'm on my own, I can gather my thoughts and I really need to dig out this bloody car mount, don't I? So I can actually pop the camera up properly. But you would have just seen, I just went for a facial and my skin feels unreal, I can't lie. I feel like it's actually looking really good. I was having a bit of a couple days breaking out last week, but I mean, it's coming with the pregnancies with the back pain and the neck pain and that explains where I've been the last couple of days so I went to Winter One's Land Saturday and not to completely bore you and give you the, just the most boring sob story ever but the next day my back was hurting so much my back's actually really hurting right now as well it's taking the pleasure out of everything my back like my facial was unreal but I can't lie, my back was killing me. I think it's like this baby just does not want me to sit stationary, honestly. She wants me on the go constantly. Like, honestly, if I'm walking around, it's when I'm like sitting and then up and then sitting and then up. So, like, driving doesn't even help. Anyway, so my back was killing me. So, I didn't really do much after winter one down the next day. And then I woke up on Monday and I literally don't even know what's happened. I Googled it. I think it's called Rynek, W-R-Y, I think. I'll put it on the screen. Um, Self-diagnosed. <laughs> I spoke about it on TikTok and a few people were like, I think this is what you've got. But it literally matches up to a T. I just think I strained my neck, to be honest, if we're putting it really bluntly and yeah I couldn't really move my neck for two days I went for a quick little like emergency massage yesterday and it's better it's a lot better I couldn't even do that yesterday and it's just wrote me off honestly I just feel like pregnancy has just come full blown. okay my phone's ringing one sec um what was I saying that's my sub story. I'm back and just Vlogmas. Do you know what I was thinking this morning? I should have done 12 days of Vlogmas. I've seen quite a few American YouTubers have done this where they just do the 12 days leading up to Christmas. But I've just realized like everyone does their own thing for Vlogmas. There's no actual rules. I feel like back in the day it was you vlog every day first through to the 25th, but no one can, do that anymore can they like as in 
some people do the 12 days some people do a couple days just before Christmas some people do whatever you know it, it is what it is I'm just gonna call this vlogmas sometimes but anyways I'm heading home to look through more IKEA boxes we had six IKEA items to erect this week and three are done there's three to go and I will show you because some of them are honestly so cheap chef's kiss and they look unreal so when I get home I'll show you because we're making small progress to the house but it's good but I need to stop recording right now because honestly arching up like this is killing my back right now I'm home you can get a better look off my skin probably should have done a close-up before but I just feel a lot more glowy and fresh that's one thing I said when I went in there I just said I just feel a bit dull a bit like meh you know and obviously this time of year I've got no tan at all unless I fake tan so it's nice to just feel a little bit like life's been put into you and I'll put on the screen where I went she was so lovely we've actually followed each other for so long I want to say years I just love you know like skincare accounts or cake baking accounts and you find their content really satisfying and you could just watch it as like a bit of a guilty pleasure so yeah not an ad very 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 kindly gifted and um yeah if you want to go and get your skin done then i will also leave a link in the description box too but i wanted to show you the drawers that we have in this room now and also the other things that are going to be going up here's the new drawers that we've put up in the bedroom I don't know if you can remember, but it was like the dark brown beach wash kind of TV unit before, which I just sold. It was in my old bedroom, but this goes in the room beautifully. It matches the bed really nicely, and then the line wash wall, which is behind me. And it's just better because having drawers, it's just so much more convenient. The last one was like cupboards and drawers. These are from Ikea. It's two separate ones, and they're £40 each, which I think is such a bargain. And then we put the projector on this wall. I'm going to see if it's not a big job for my brother to get rid of these just because they're obviously in the middle of the wall because probably the idea is to have a telly there. But I just really don't want a telly in this room. I just think tellies are a little bit boxy and ugly and we love the projector. It is a mess so I'm not going to pan around because we are still sorting out just where everything's gonna go i'm still sorting out my new wardrobes so this is why all the boxes and suitcases are everywhere but yeah these two are the first things we put up from ikea hi hi here she is the grazing table queen in it for last on instagram I don't, have it, do people know the story kelsey and her friend tyra thought they'd take one for the team and make me a grazing table for my gender reveal and it's turned into a business <laughs> literally that so and that is a story you're welcome for the opportunity um, just some literal intricate details that we do for the tables um simple yet effective right that's enough of a plug one more <laughs> i was gonna get a grazing table company and when kelsey saw the prices she nearly punched me and she was like <laughs> if you're gonna pay that i'd rather do it for you and you pay me yeah, so <laughs> I was just like, right, I'll send you to Costco, you do your thing. And that's what happened, and now... I'm what? a business gal. <laughs> business owner. <laughs> why are you here? I don't actually know. I actually don't know why I'm here. <laughs> Cass's dad's come round to help erect some um, IKEA units. Erect? What does that mean? Like Put together, you mean? Erect that's sounds what it like is, a... <laughs> Google the two definitions of erect. <laughs> I guarantee, when you put something together, you erect it. What does the definition say, Google? Rigid, upright, or straight, and then it says put together and set upright. Okay, right. Fair enough. Thank you. This house was erected in the 18th century. <laughs> Anyways, so Cass's dad is very kindly putting together some bits for us whilst Cass is at work, and then this one's just come along for just to be annoying, <laughs> to, to be honest. Anyways, we're going to watch a little bit of YouTube. It's actually getting quite late. I was thinking I might actually edit this and get this up tonight. Because obviously I haven't had a frog with in a couple of days. People just don't want to work these days. So we will see. If this is up on... What day is it today? Wednesday. If this is up on Wednesday, then you know that I have pulled my finger out. If this is up on a Thursday, then I've really let it slide. Good news. I've edited this video, so it should be up 
ASAP. But also, I wanted to show Kelsey this one, might as well show you. I'm gonna like dye my hair myself, as in oh God. tint it. Are you? Not Can really I do it? I'm good at hair. It's just like I dyed this myself. It's like a hair know? mask. But it does the colour. And it gives you a tint. Live Guy raves about it. Really? Yeah, I'll how's do that? It. Not right now. Your hair doesn't need washing. <laughs> I washed it this morning and then. You put oil in that. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. a facial. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks this for is watching what I just nice. said, by the way. I'm gonna try it over Christmas and I will let you know how it goes because how good if I can put a mask on my head? That yeah, that is it. cool. It's kind of like purple shampoo, but for dark hair. Fish bash bosh. But hope you enjoyed. I'm back. Sorry, I'm again. Um, did I tell you I hurt my neck? <laughs> Did you tell me? <laughs> oh my god, I honestly, I literally I'm worry about to. when this girl gives birth because. Oh my god, my, my, what memory? No, 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 no. If you're moaning about a painful <laughs> neck and you've got to push a baby out of your vinji. And it's like when I got the glass out of your foot. Like, I'll never, ever since then. I, I finished Emma Willis Delivering Babies, the, new, the newer series, and honestly, I actually don't know how I'm going to do it. No, I, don't, I generally don't, but luckily I'll be in the room, so. <laughs> no she will not unless she's working on the ship <laughs> anyway bye guys thanks bye. for watching